Hello everyone, welcome back to Higher Mathematics, happy to see you here. And today we have a really interesting algebra problem. We have a to the power b minus b to the power a equal to 17 and we need to find our a and b. How can we do this? I will show you a really good approach how can we do this. Take a look closely. Let's write this a to the power b at first. So a, a to the power b. I take another pen real quick. Okay, a to the power b we have. I want to write it in another way. So I want to write it as a to the power b and raised to the power 2 over 2. So 2 over 2 equal to 1. So nothing changed for us. But if we know a little bit about uh, prop power properties, we can easily write it as a to the power b raised to the power 1 half times 2. So as you can see, if we read this to this power, we just multiply all of these values. So we can easily bring this 1 half inside this near this b. So what we will have? We will have a to the power b over 2 all raised to the power to the square, all squared. And if we read this, we will have a to the power b. So nothing change. So let's do the same thing with b to the power a. So b to the power a. What we will have? We will have b to the power a raised to the power 2 over 2. Nothing change, but we use this trick once more. We will have b to the power a over 2, all raised, all squared. And if you multiply it, we will have all the same. But we right now we are going to use these elements and these elements instead of this one. So this is the same. What we will have as a result? We will have the first one, a to the power b over 2, all squared minus b to the power a over 2, squared equal to 17 equal to 17 so we just change these elements by this one and right now we can easily use a substitution so let let this a to the power b over 2 will be equal to x and this element b to the power a over 2 will be equal to to y for example okay what are we going to do next let's use a formula because we right now we have Station like that we have x square minus y square equal to 17 So we can easily use a formula right here identity formula This is a square minus b square so we can easily write it as x plus y times x minus y x minus y equal to 17 And this is a classic case because on the right here on the right hand side we have a prime number so it's not hard to see that only two case can be written at this 17. So only as 1 times 17 and 17 times 1. No other cases if we're talking about integers, of course. So what it tells us, take a look closely. This parenthesis will be 1, this parenthesis x minus y equal to 17. But I want to mention that this parenthesis is greater than, is greater than 1 or this parenthesis, not greater than 1, but, but greater than x minus y. So this parenthesis is greater than this one. So one and only case that can be written this 17 is when this parenthesis x plus y equal to 17 and x minus y equal to 1. If we're talking about in a reverse way, this does not work, because this parenthesis is greater than this one. So what system we will have? We will have a system of equation. We will have the first system, x plus y equal to 17 and x minus y equal to equal to 1. So how can we solve this system? Of course let's add first one to second one. We will have to x equal to 18 and from here x equal to 9. So we finally find our 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 first root. And if we are talking about second root, we can easily plug in all of these elements inside of this equation. We will have y equal to 17 minus 9. We will have that our y equal to 8. But this is our y and x. We need to find our a and b. But we write a substitution. a to the power b half equal to x. So a to the power b over 2 equal to, equal to x. So how can we solve it? But x equal to 9. So we will have a to the power b over 2 equal to 9. And right here we will have that b to the power a over 2 equal to 8. So this is using y, this is using a. 
So we have this, these equations. How can you find this? If we raise this to the second power, we will say that our a to the power b equal to 81, 9 square. And right here, b to the power a equal to 64. But how can you find a and b from here? Because we don't know both our variables right here in this equation and both variables in this equation. So we know that 381 is equal to 3 to the power 4. And if we simplify this right here on the right 64, we can write it as 2 to the 6 power. So nothing, nothing common with this one and with this one. But if we write this 2 to the 6 as 2 square times 3 and we write it as 2 square raised to the third power, we can easily write this one as 4 cube. So what we have is right now, we have that a to the power b equal to 3 to the fourth power. And on the right hand side, b to the power a equal to 4, 4 cube. So one and only case that this equation works is when a equal to 3, of course, and b equal to b equal to 4. This is first root, this is our second root. And this is my solution to this problem. If you still have any question, write a question in comment. It will be really nice to read it. And of course, thank you so much for watching, for supporting my channel, for turn notifications. And see you in the next videos.